Access Database Tutorial 1, please be sure that you have read through the Session 1.1 in your textbook beginning on AC2, that you have an understanding of what a database is, a common field, a primary key, a table, a field, a database, and that you understand somewhat what a relational database management system is. We're going to create a database and we're going to start from the access window and click on blank database. And one of the things that's different about access from other programs is that you name the database before you actually begin even working in the file. So this is going to be the database that you're going to use throughout the whole tutorial 1 through 4 and we're going to name it Belmont and you'll notice that I've got the ACCDB extension letting me know that it is an access 2007 file. I'm going to save it to my drives, to my H drive, which is what I've named to my USB, and I have a folder for 2008, and I've got a folder for web, and I'll save it to assignments, and I'll click OK, and that's just how I save mine so I know where they are. Now that I've named it and chosen the location for it, I'm going to click on Create it opens up into this database window which you'll notice you've got your tabs across the top and you've got your different groups under your tabs the most important group or most important uh, group I guess that we'll be using is under table tools data sheet this view group that we'll be clicking back and forth between uh, working from our different views. Now we're going to create a table and so the table is going to be named contract. So we're going to name it contract here and the reason I have to name it it's a little different from the way the book shows it is because I want to show you moving from one view to the other. I'm going to close out of my property sheet dialog box over here. So now I am in t um, design view. When I click back I'm now in data sheet or table view. So make sure you understand. Notice over here this is my list of all of the all of the objects that are in access. And so I'm going to click on this drop down and make sure that you have it uh, so that it shows by object type and that you also select all access objects. You may have to do this on the test so make sure that you um, have object type and all access, all access objects selected under your navigation pane and I'll explain that a little bit more later uh, when we get into some more objects. So I actually do it a little differently from the book. I'm going to show you how I create the table. You can do it your way and then I'm going to stop this and then go ahead and add some records and or add, finish the table and pick up. So I'm going to click on view and my first item that I want to put in, I do by default, access makes the first field an ID or uh, auto number field, as you can see here. And you'll also need to pay close attention to your data types. I'm going to rename this, and I'm working on page nine, to contract num. And notice I'm going to change it here from auto number. to a text field and I want to make sure that's the way the book has it. I'm not positive that it's set up as a text field but it should be. Yes it is on page 10 set up as a text field and then you're going to continue adding the rest of the fields uh, that are on page 11 and we're going to add customer ID, contract amount, signing date, and contract type and then you're going to look at how the records are entered in figure 1-9. I'm going to pause here. This is going to be part one of this tutorial video.